You guys, I'm so excited. Look how beautiful this is. Look how beautiful. My goodness gracious. Hey family, welcome back to Jack's Making It Home. We had a good night's rest, uh, well deserved, and uh, we slept in a little bit today. Uh, right now the weather is absolutely gorgeous. The skies are blue, a slight breeze, sunny warm weather. We are in dark clothing right now because of the activity that we're about to go to, Shannon doesn't know about. It's a surprise for her, yeah. but um, they request that you wear darker color clothing, but we also have a change of clothes because we plan on going to dinner afterwards. So right now we're about to drive over to this activity. Shannon, got any idea? I have no idea. The last time we wore dark colored clothing was in Costa Rica to see the sea turtles. That was outside and at night. This is, I mean, maybe they'll be outside, but it's clearly not nighttime. So I have no clue what we're doing. Turtles it is. <laughs> All right, we're driving over guys. just figured out what my surprise is. We're going on a helicopter. I'm, I didn't know you had to wear all black to go on a helicopter. I, I had no idea. That is cool. You got me good, you got me good. I didn't know you had to wear all black to go on a helicopter. You said reflections. Had no clue. I still can't really believe that we're gonna do this. I'm excited. I'm excited. No smoking at any time. On the ramp or down the play. Seatbelts must be worn at all times during the program. So we just got over to Air Maui. I believe they started operating about two weeks ago. So they just started back up after COVID. Our helicopter just landed. Um, we got a small storm come through, so we don't know quite yet if we're for sure boarding right now, but hopefully we are and hopefully things clear up so we can get the helicopter right in. So we did look up guys. The weather is clearing up. We're heading out right now. We're ready to go. All you have to do is sit back, be nice to be able to do this. I'll be back on the air with the city of the airport and we will be on our way. Except a lot is to get some light on this road. Two reasons why. One reason is the curves in the road, they slow you down. Also, there's sections of that road only as wide as one car. So some place you gotta back up to let the traffic go by, but it speeds the whole way. We're making a left turn, gonna head right up into the valley. Valley we're heading up into is called Waihe. Waihe in Hawaiian means slippery water. Now we got that name because we get so much rain in here that moss goes on the rocks making it slippery to walk and hike up into the valley. We're going to have a further view of the Columbus waterfall on the island of Maui. So the head of us in the back of Sioux Side Canyon. The waterfall in the back there pledges 1,250 feet to the bottom. Everybody doing good? All right, we'll head further to the back of the valley. Waterfalls we're going to see back there, they don't flow from the top. Instead, they come right out of holes 
the forest while they're on. So it gives the impression that those mountain was weeping or crying. And that is how it got the name of the Wallace here. We'll go back down to the coast and we'll follow a cliff as we head to the island of Molokai. We'll descend to a thousand feet along the coast. These are the tallest pieces on the island of Bali. Up ahead of the top side is about 600 feet. So hey, we'll be looking at the tallest pieces in the whole world. The North Shore of Molokai will be plunged over 3,000 feet straight down. We'll begin our journey across the channel to the island of Molokai now. The island of Molokai is the fifth largest Hawaiian island. It covers 260 square miles. 38 miles long. 10 miles wide at the widest point. We are coming up from the tallest seacoast in the whole world right now. That's a view of the tallest waterfall in the whole state of Hawaii now, straight ahead of us, the bank of this little valley, and that one of the back there plunges 1,749 feet to the bottom. Open my door, but don't get out, okay? Okay. Everybody having a good time? Absolutely. Yeah, All right. Good. So we just landed. This is the only uh, package that Air Maui sells that has an oceanfront landing, and it's absolutely breath taking. Guys, if you get the opportunity, just please come out and do a helicopter ride. This is our first time, and it's like, it's blowing my mind. What are you thinking? You guys, I am so in awe of how cool this is and i think the crazy thing for me is how nimble the helicopter is and compact and so you can get extremely close yeah. <laughs> to the mountains and sometimes i believe our pilot's name is rich he was getting in those valleys and i was like Whoa. yeah at one point in the very beginning we went to the like the first valley like we haven't I wouldn't even say we were comfortable with the helicopter yet. Like we were maybe in it for like two minutes and like he just like stopped it in the valley, like right on the edge by some waterfalls, like literally just paused the helicopter. It was and wild. It's, it's crazy. I mean, you've seen on TV and such helicopters just kind of float, mm -hmm. but just to like flow and the way he can just like sit it there in the <laughs> air and you're just like taking pictures and looking and you're kind of thinking like, oh, I wish I could see the other side. And he just whips that thing right on around. And you <laughs> this could, is for the right side. <laughs> you can could, you could see the other side. It is just crazy like to hover in mid air like that is insane. And it was the Wahe Ridge Trail. Yeah, the one that we did yesterday. We saw, I may have mispronounced it, but we saw the exact trail that we took from yeah. above, which was really wow. cool. Wow. So it it is quite it's insane. It's breathtaking. It's breathtaking. It but, really um, is. Cool. Like I said, if you get the opportunity, definitely come out. Air Maui is an awesome company. Um, great customer service. Uh, yeah. We're halfway through the ride, I believe, and that thus far has been absolutely amazing. But um, we're going to enjoy the rest of this oceanfront landing and then uh, head back and do the rest of the flight. And sorry, guys, <laughs> I have one more thing to say. Uh, also, the amount of history that the pilot oh, is absolutely. giving us along the the tour is awesome we feel like we were kind of well versed just because we've done a lot of the scenic routes around maui already but still learning more information and it just makes the sites that you're seeing that much cooler knowing some of the history behind it so and we're getting even more than what we I guess expect it like because like when as we're flying over the channels and things like that we're seeing like wells breaching and stuff like that and that's yeah. the type of stuff that i wasn't expecting so like it's so just cool. it's i wasn't so expecting any of it since it's a <laughs> surprise for me so i'm just like
All right, fam, quick update on where we are. Um, after we left the helicopter tour with Air Maui, we drove over to McKenna Beach. Really quick story. Um, so we, when we were doing the road to Hana, we stopped to get some um, chicken, the huli huli chicken. And the young lady was saying, based upon the weather patterns in relation to Haleakala, that it's pretty much always sunny and warm over at McKenna Beach. So we drove over there. We we're going to do some drone footage and uh, maybe some other footage to get some other shots. And uh, when we got there, of course, our luck, uh, it was just raining. So we hung out there. It was really nice actually. We hung out there, um, listened to the rain, just relaxed for about 30 minutes or so. Drove back over here to where we have dinner reservations. We're at a really popular restaurant called Mama's Fish House. Um, it's been rated number one on the island several times and they recommend getting your reservations uh, really early. So I tried about a month out and I checked every single day that we were going to be here and every single day was booked like we did not have any openings other than like really early lunch hours and we went to dinner um but then last week i checked back again and they had a friday opening so i guess somebody canceled i'm not sure but um we got lucky with that so we're about to have some um dinner here and then we'll probably just kick it for the rest of the night until tomorrow so uh we'll probably show you a little bit of our dinner experience here and then we'll catch back up with you guys we're heading in and the rain has luckily stopped so I think it's gonna be a great evening. It smells so good. The ambiance, the vibe is just, it's incredible. I can see why this is what a, a number one restaurant here on the island. So I was really hoping that we could get a seat that was like right by the window so we could see the ocean, which we got. Um, one of the really big points with Mama's Fish House is that their menu changes daily because it all revolves around whatever is caught that day. So whatever fish is caught, they make their menu around that. So it's guaranteed to be very fresh. Absolutely. We're very much so looking forward to it. Smells delicious. Can't wait to dive in. Hey guys, so we're back at the hotel wrapping up our day and man, what a day just full of adventure. We started with the helicopter ride at the Chillin'. You guys have heard enough about that. Uh, we tried to go see McKenna Beach after that and then we went to our dinner reservation which was at Mama's Fish House. Um, those, again, you have to get reservations way ahead so if you are planning on going, try to book way ahead of your proposed date. So I had some kanpachi, so it's a yellowtail fish and I had it stuffed with lobster and crab and it was Great. And what did you have? I have no idea what the name <laughs> of my dish was, but we will list it in the description below. It was like a fish fish broth, right? Yeah, it was a fish broth um, and it had two different types of fish in it, scallops, uh, clams, octopus, which Prawns. I actually ate, prawns, which are shrimp or a form of shrimp. Um, and it was good. It also came with like a crouton-esque type of bread with some type of whipped butter that i believe she said was actually made from egg yolks um so it was delicious though speaking of bread the bread that came out in the very beginning that was delicious too and it was like a honey spread that came with it i think yes that was really and good. there was a tomato like a shot of tomato soup that had like some ginger in it yes the ginger was such a refreshing and unique taste flavor uh it was all very very delicious and then we had dessert mm -hmm. banana something <laughs> yeah so we'll also get the name of that but it was like a banana compote situation with some cobbler and brown sugar mm -hmm. and topped with homemade ice cream and i don't know if we talked about the vibe and the atmosphere already but that was incredible uh just seated right up front of the water and we were lucky enough to get a table that was right at the edge of the restaurant so we could overlook the ocean and i was really hoping for that and we did secure that yeah and the, the music selections were good and romantic and dimly lit as you could probably tell so it was just really pretty the tiki torches were um lit on the beach so just watching the sunset and um and the guys fishing <laughs> yeah there were some fishermen out there it would be interesting to know if they actually worked for the restaurant but anyhow it was just 
really a, a nice vibe. The food was amazing. The wait staff was amazing. I think we got refilled on our water like, like i mean yeah he that glass never got halfway <laughs> empty before he was filling it back up everyone was just so attentive um so it was a really great experience absolutely guys so if you're on the fence about mama's fish house definitely go if you're considering it definitely go if you never heard of it definitely go we just highly recommend it everything was great about it um but we are about to call it a night because we have another early start this time it's shannon's fault because she chose to start time but we have an activity first thing in the morning so we're about to get some z's <laughs> see you guys tomorrow bye right, guys you guys are good students making it easy <laughs> if you're lighting someone on fire i'd be a little less patient yeah.